This is our first recorded family adventure, and we're so happy you're along for the ride to the Great Sand Dunes National Park. All right, boys, are you excited for our trip to the sand dunes? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? We ready to go? Yeah. Yeah? No, let's wait for Mommy. Well, yeah, I mean, of course we're going to wait for Mommy. What's Mommy doing? Yeah, I'm pushing getting our food oh that's the storm's day careful to hold it with the bag yeah buddy After being cooped up in the truck for over two hours, it's great to let the boys run around while I air down for the trail. We had our pick from quite a few really nice camp spots on Madonna Pass. It did our hearts good to watch Eli, Isaac, and Stormy run all around and explore the woods while we set up camp. Eli, I bet you can't get Stormy. He's got the zoomies. Taste them. They are so delicious. Like a pro. Pure skill.
morning. <laughs> you want to hit me, don't you? Yeah, your <laughs> what are you doing? Real nice. Good morning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> If water crossings are in your future, I'd recommend checking your rear differential for a breathing tube. In our case, Toyota didn't think it was necessary. So in preparation for this trip, we decided to extend it ourselves, so we wouldn't have to run the risk of letting any water into our rear differential. A sense of wonder washes over me whenever I round the bend and see the sand for the first time. I don't know why it took us so long to come see them for ourselves. Extremely soft sand ahead. Uh, reduced tire pressure 15 to 20. Oh, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Deflating the tires a bit can sure make the trails a lot more enjoyable, but it's essential in the soft sand. We have our trusty ARB air compressor to reinflate the tires when we're all done. If you don't have onboard air, don't worry. They have an air station to help you get back to the proper PSI for highway travel. I do. Oh, it's all you. Perfect. You're driving, dude.
we were having so much fun. Well, this one didn't work out, so next time we're in, we made another one at work. The Great Sand Dunes was first established as a national monument in the 30s to protect it from gold mining and the potential of a concrete manufacturing company. Hiking is permitted throughout the dunes, however, the sand can reach temperatures of 150 degrees on the surface, which is why Stormy kept digging down to get to the cooler stand below. How many times will you roll down the sand? We need to have a sandbox. And I had so much fun, I never wanted to stop. When you we were crawling down like a crocodile, it was fun. Goodbye. We were having a blast, but time was slipping through our hands faster than the sand, so we decided to pack up and hit the trail. The Great Sand Dunes National Park is located on the eastern edge of the San Luis Valley in south central Colorado. At 750 feet tall, the park contains the tallest sand dunes in North America, and they cover about 30 square miles. Thanks for joining us on our Great Sand Dune Adventure. Be sure to check in with us next time as we visit the San Isabel National Forest.